This is Ming from Pang Intelligence. What I'm going to talk about today is the effective use of colors for BI. So I'm going to start by introducing a bad example. People can easily assume the same color to mean the same thing. But if you look at these two charts, blue is used for pet insurance on the left while it's used for car insurance on the right. If people look at the first chart and start assuming blue means pet insurance, they might just get it wrong on the right chart. Okay, so the goal in here is to enable good interpretation for people when they look at dashboards or charts. So if we can do a design really well, then basically we don't need to repeatedly explain the information to other people. Like for example, in here, we don't need to keep explaining what blue means to different people because that's actually quite confusing here. Okay, so we've got some more examples later. In terms of good use of colors, well, basically colors can be used for different purposes. You can use color for visual distinction and you can also use it for drawing people's attention. So if you look at this uh, hoover, the wire actually has a bit of yellow and a bit of red. If you keep pulling, it might just break. Red might just represent danger over there. In terms of visual distinction, color is actually not the only option. So for example, you can use length, width, position, and then size, pattern, and shape as well to represent visual distinctions. So for example, in here, if you use lens to represent the uh, data and use different items to represent different things over here, then basically uh, if color doesn't offer any additional meaning, you don't need to use that for visual distinction. So we can actually reserve color for some other purposes like drawing people's attentions then. So if we look at this one, actually people use bright color to represent exceptions. So for example, people use red to represent danger, orange represent warning, and green means happy or good. But too much color actually doesn't help you to uh, make the information stand out. For example, in here, it's actually quite hard to identify the exceptions. In here, if you look at this chart, can you easily tell which part of the information is more important? And how about this one then? And how about this one? So in these three charts, the same thing for them is using bright colors for exceptions. And then the first chart is using dark color for regular information. Second one using bright color. Third one using multicolor. So if we use multicolor for the regular part of the information, the uh, exception with bright color will just stand out. Knowing all of this, we also want to reduce some confusions. So we want to use one color for one purpose. Basically, rule number one, we want to avoid using different colors for the same meaning. If we already have pet insurance being blue, we probably don't want to have a different color to represent pet insurance as well on the right. Uh, then people don't need to understand the information again to, to understand how color is related to that particular item. Okay, another example in here is take a look at these two charts. You might start wondering, okay, what does red mean then? Basically, your interpretation could be red means lower than zero. But if you see another chart like this in the same dashboard, then you might start wondering, okay, what does orange mean now? It still means something lower than zero, but it does offer you different, uh, it, it has two different colors over here, so it might confuse you a little bit. So that's rule number one. Rule number two is avoid using the same color for different meanings. So for example, the chart on the left, on the left is using red to represent something bad, while the one on the right is using red to represent something good. If we try to reflect it to our daily life, we probably want to use green to represent something good so that we've got some consistencies. And then the worst example is the one we gave at the very beginning. It uses blue to represent pet insurance on the left and car insurance on the right. And then for car insurance, for example, 
on the left is not using blue color, on the right is using blue color. It introduces different things for you to get really confused. Okay, so our suggestions in here is you want to use one color to be used for one purpose only. So our suggestion is you want to use one color to represent one purpose and also try to reflect our daily life colors to your dashboard. So in summary, color can be used for visual distinction, but there are so many other options for visual distinction. So we try to use something else and reserve colors for other purposes, like drawing people's attentions. So we can use multicolors to uh, represent the uh, data while using bright colors to represent the exceptions then the exceptions will stand out easily. And then also, we want to use colors consistently, and we try to use one color for one purpose, rather than multiple purposes. And then we also want to try to reflect daily life for our exception colors. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.